Welcome back for a new Schedule 1 tutorial. This one is an absolute banger because it allows you to have access to this massive barn property. The previous tutorial video we went over was all about the bungalow house, but this property is about 10 times as big. Once you do have the barn mod installed, it will be over here on the top right hand of your map. This property does not exist prior to installing the mod, but once you do, it will be right here. It's also actually in a super convenient location because just behind here is Dan's hardware shop and you also have the money drop location right here. So super, super convenient, much better than all the way across the map over at the bungalow house. Now, before we go into a step-by-step -step of how to install the barn mod, we are going to do a quick barn tour so I can show you guys how I filled up this property. Right when you walk in, you have a little bit of storage here. I have a mixing station. Over here, I have the bagging station, and again, a little more storage. A little TV just for the aesthetic. And the way I laid it out, I wanted to be very spaced out. I felt no need to have everything super crammed together. So the way I personally decided to lay it out is three grow kits on the left, three grow kits on the right, each one having a soil and water dispenser. And we have this middle walkway here. So we have six in the front and there are four rows of this. So in total, I have 24 grow kits set up and this produces an extremely high yield. And by having all the dispensers as well, it just makes the entire process a lot more efficient. Also on each side, I have some extra soil just in case I need to fill up any of these dispensers. All in all, super nice aesthetic look right when you come in, just oh. This area here, I didn't know what to do with. I just left it blank for now. Over here, we have a display case where I'll probably put some of the premium nugs that I go ahead and mix. Upstairs, we have majority of the storage as well as a bed. This property doesn't come with a bed, so you'll need to buy a bed and move it on over. And as far as storage, my technique that I like to do is have them slammed up side by side and you can access them from the side like so. So that about wraps it up for the barn tour portion. Go ahead and comment down below if you think you have a better barn layout or if you think I should have done anything else. Overall, I'm really pleased. Everything's very spaced out easy to maneuver around as well as 24 grow kits just produces an extremely huge yield. So anyways, now let's go ahead and dive into the how to portion, how we're gonna install the mod. It is a bit more challenging than the bungalow house. This isn't just one file that you have to unzip and then place in the properties folder, but instead there is a few extra steps. For step number one, you're gonna to need to download Melon Loader. And for the Melon Loader download link, I will go ahead and leave that down in the description box below. Once Melon Loader is downloaded and launched, you will see this screen here where you can go ahead and select which game you would like to mod. So we're gonna click Schedule One. Next, you'll go ahead and click Install, and the process is pretty easy. It is completed in about three seconds. Next, you'll need to download the barn file, which is named barnmove.dll, and I will go ahead and leave that in the description box below. It is via a Dropbox link. Once you do have Melon Loader in the barn file downloaded, you are pretty much halfway done. The next part is kind of a little bit tricky. Some of my file placement may be slightly incorrect, but all I know is that it ended up working. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I did behind the scenes to get the file to actually work. So the first method I tried was just like the bungalow house tutorial. We're gonna head on down to the bottom left of our screen in the search bar, type in run, go ahead and run app data. And once you are there, you're gonna wanna go local low, TVGS, schedule one free sample, saves your save file, then in properties, I went ahead and pasted in that barn file. Next, I went into Melon Loader and I pressed the file icon in the middle here and we can see a folder named mods. So I went ahead and also pasted in the barn file inside of the mods folder. Now, whenever you do launch up schedule one and you head on over to the barn, the only thing majorly different from the barn to the bungalow house is the barn does cost 25K in order to buy, which is kind of cool because it adds another layer of something to work towards. Now, once I did go ahead and buy the barn, it took a lot of effort to move everything from the bungalow all the way over to the barn, but I would say it is absolutely well worth it and I hope it ends up being worth it to you. Now, if this video was of some use to you, please feel free to leave a like 
or comment down below. It's a free way to help out the channel and go ahead and comment down below with any additional questions that you may have about the video or if you have any other cool builds within the barn itself. Now, with that being said, that about wraps it up for this video about how to acquire the barn in Schedule 1. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you next time.